Hey everybody, I'm Michael Chankis with Charles Ruttenberg Realty here in Lakewood Ranch, Florida. It's a beautiful winter day, 86 degrees, and the pool is just as warm. If you've been considering making a move to Florida, let's talk about Lakewood Ranch. Lakewood Ranch is all the buzz and all the hype right now. Everyone's talking about it. It's the number one master plan community in all of the United States. So in this video, we're going to give you a one-stop shop. By the end of the video, you should know everything you need to know about Lakewood Ranch to help you make your decision. And this is how we're gonna show you. The Lakewood Ranch Information Center publishes this map once a year. And this is the brand new 2022 map showing all of the new villages. We've got all the new waterside villages on the bottom in Sarasota County. We've got all the Northeast villages listed. Each one of these neighborhoods has a unique flair, a unique feeling. My wife and I, Courtney, we did it ourselves. We moved from Connecticut down here and we didn't have all this information. We kind of figured it out on our own. You don't have to figure it out on your own. One by one, we're going to explore all the villages. We'll summarize all the most important features of each, like the location its proximity to schools. Is it close to banks? Where would you go grocery shopping? What are the HOA fees? What does it include? Which builders built in each community? The aesthetic, the style, the type of home, what the vegetation looks like, what the streets look like. We're gonna give you a first-hand perspective view of each of these neighborhoods. Be sure to click the thumbs up button below if you found this video helpful. Add your comments below as well, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible with any questions you have. Courtney and I live here, we love it here, and if you're looking for a market expert to help you with your search, you've come to the right place. So without further ado, let's do this. This is what we call digging into the dots. This is a comparison of all the villages that are actively building right now. I think there's 18 of them. And the dots tell you what is included and what isn't included with each of these neighborhoods. So I figured rather than just have you look at some dots, I'm going to explain the dots. I'm also going to explain the resale communities because there's a lot of Lakewood Ranch that's finished. It's Hold on, let me slide in here for a minute. I think we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. We realized that if we covered every single village in all of Lakewood Ranch in one video, it would be like four hours long. And who has time for that? This isn't Titanic. So instead, we're going to break it into two parts for you to make it easy. We're going to start with just the new construction, actively selling villages, and I'm going to break those down for you. And that way Michael can go out and keep getting footage of the rest of the villages, which will only have resale, and we'll cover that in part two. The order on the map lists 1 through 18 numerically, so we're going to go in the same order. You can follow along from home if you want to download a copy of this map and list. Go to lakewoodranchmap.com. Also, if you'd prefer a big copy like the one you see behind me, we're happy to mail one to you. Just send us your details in a message and we'll get that sent out to you so you have one to use. Number one on the list is Avalon Woods. This is a brand new village that will be built by Ryan Homes. It will have single family homes and townhomes. The only amenity included will be a tot lot. The HOA fees will be less than $200 per month because of the limited amenities and no maintenance included. The location of Avalon Woods is on the corner of 44th Avenue East and Lorraine Road. Your closest shopping and dining in Publix plazas will be north of there on State Road 64 or just a few minutes south on State Road 70 where you could find everything you could possibly need. Avalon Woods is conveniently located near Gullet Elementary, Mona Jane Middle, and not far from Lakewood Ranch High School. So those are the schools that this new village will be zoned to. There's not a whole lot to see just yet. They've started construction and working on the sites. As we get more updates with plans and pricing, we will be sure to do a video on it and let you know what's coming. Number two on the list is Esplanade at Azario. This village is built by Taylor Morrison, and you can find single family homes and twin villas, as well as a ton of amenities. The Esplanade communities are known for the lifestyle they provide, so their amenities include pools, a clubhouse, fitness center, pickleball, tennis, 
an 18-hole golf course, a lifestyle director, a full-service restaurant and bar, and so much more. The HOA fees in Azario at Esplanade have a wide range depending on the size, home, and the golf membership, but the villas are $390 per month, and the single-family homes can be anywhere from $350 up to $700 per month, depending. Esplanade at Azario is located right across Lorraine Road from Avalon Woods, also bordering 44th Ave East, and it's conveniently located to the same things on State Road 64 and State Road 70, as well as Gullet, Mona Jane, and Lakewood Ranch High. As you drive through the gated entry at Azario, you will notice the beautiful landscaping that seems to be a staple of every Taylor Morrison village. They offer villas with a side entry, single family homes that also have a side entry. There are also traditional single family homes with a front entry and a mixture of two and three car garages on the floor plans. They have a full design studio so you can customize the interior of your home and a few flexible choices with floor plans for the structural things as well. In keeping true with the Esplanade name, the elevations are mostly Mediterranean or Tuscan in their look with some coastal mixed in. There's a lot of building happening in Azario and a lot more to come, so plenty of opportunities if there's a floor plan that you love in this neighborhood. The amenities at Azario are currently under construction. They just broke ground on the resort style pool, Bahama bar, and wellness center. The golf course is already complete, as well as some of the sports courts and the dog park. So there's already things for residents to do and enjoy and so much more to come. There is a lot to do at Esplanade at Azario and a lot of buildings still to do. They are only in one of their first few phases for this pretty large village. So if you're interested in an opportunity here, there are plenty to be had. Park East at Azario is also listed under number two on the map. This is a second Taylor Morrison community with just single family homes. Park East does have some great amenities such as a community pool, sports courts, a tot lot, and a dog park. The HOA fees are $158 a month for all homes in Park East. Park East at Azario is located right next to Esplanade at Azario and stretches to Eline Road on the east side of the village. It's also zoned to the same schools, Gullet Elementary, Mona Jane Middle, and Lakewood Ranch High. Homes in Park East are a variety of one and two story floor plans with a lot of flexibility for structural options. You can add bonus rooms, you can convert dens to bedrooms. They also have a full interior design studio or you can choose a canvas collection which is a pre-curated design package with a set price. There's tons of building left to do in Park East and many opportunities for you if this village is a good fit. Number three on the list is Crestwind at Lakewood Ranch. This village is built by Coulter Homes and consists of just single family homes. This is also an age restricted 55 plus community. Crestwind offers a lot of amenities including a community pool, fitness center, lifestyle director, tennis and pickleball courts, as well as maintenance, and it is a gated village. The HOA fee in Crestwind is $300 a month for all residents, and that does include cable TV and internet. Crestwind is located off Eline Road and also borders Rangeland and Bourneside. It's in a great little spot, kind of tucked away from any busy roads, but you have quick access to State Road 70 for any of your shopping, banking needs. Homes in Crestwind offer a lot of variety with floor plans. You can have two to three car garages, single story or two story homes with a bonus room upstairs. They are much more modern and contemporary in their feel, so you'll notice more clean lines, very different aesthetic as you're driving through in comparison to the more traditional Mediterranean look that many Florida villages have. As you can see on the site map, they are a smaller village, but they still have two phases to build in 
with many lots still available for people to purchase and build a home on. The amenity center just opened, so you'll have a brand new clubhouse, beautiful pool with a resistance pool for residents to enjoy. Next up is Del Webb at Lakewood Ranch. This community is built by Pulte. There are single family homes and quad villas, and this is also an age restricted 55 plus community. The amenities in Del Webb are top notch and they include pickleball courts, tennis courts, community pool, fitness center, clubhouse with game rooms, a full service restaurant, and so much for residents to enjoy. There are also gated entries and maintenance is included for every home. The HOA fees in Del Webb range from $300 to about $324 per month, depending on the size home that you choose. Del Webb is conveniently located kind of right in the middle of Lakewood Ranch, off of Masters Avenue and bordering Bourneside. It's also very close to the corner of University and Lorraine Road, where there's a Publix Plaza with a UPS store, a Dunkin' Donuts, a nail salon, some restaurants, and pretty much anything you could need. Del Webb is all about an active adult lifestyle, so we decided to start with the amenities on this one to show you how awesome they are. You can grab lunch with your friends at the Lake House restaurant, sit by the pool, play tennis, play bocce, take a class, go to the fitness center. There are so many things to do for residents in Del Webb, I can't possibly list them all. The Pulte homes built in Del Webb match that traditional Mediterranean Florida style with barrel tile roofs for the most part and exterior elevations that vary depending on the size and style of home. There's also paver driveways and walkways throughout for residents and landscaping that's a little bit more mature because this village has been around for about six years. For both the single family homes and the quad villas, you can visit the Pulte Design Studio to fully deck out the inside of your home with whatever design choices you want. They also offer some structural options for each floor plan and a lot of flexibility within those floor plans of one and two story homes. Del Webb is a great village to call home if this is the right fit for you. They're building out their final phase today. Harmony at Lakewood Ranch is number five on the list. This village was built by Madame Homes and originally had single family homes as well as townhomes, but in their current final phase, there are only townhomes still being built. The amenities in Harmony include a clubhouse, fitness center, community pool, playground, and maintenance is included for all homes. The HOA fees in Harmony range from $196 to $226 per month, depending on the size of the home. Harmony at Lakewood Ranch is located off of Rangeland Parkway, just behind State Road 70, which has every convenience you could possibly need, so it's super close to things. It's also very close to Lakewood Ranch High School, Gullet Elementary, and Mona Jane Middle, which are the schools Harmony is zoned to. There is one main road that cuts through Harmony and connects all of the side neighborhoods together and that's what we're showing as we drive through the neighborhood. We also show some of the single family homes but as a reminder those are currently built to completion so the only town homes remaining are the ones that you could purchase. And there's no design needed, the builder spec'd out all of the remaining town homes which means they chose the interior finishes for each one and they are completing their final phase currently. Harmony has some great amenities for residents to enjoy, and it's a smaller village in a great location within Lakewood Ranch. Number six is Indigo at Lakewood Ranch. Indigo is built by Neal Communities and has single family homes and paired villas. The amenities in Indigo include a pool, fitness center, clubhouse, pickleball courts, a playground, 
a lifestyle director, and this community includes maintenance and is gated. The HOA fees in Indigo range from $147 a month for the paired villas to around $250 a month for the single family homes. Indigo is located on the corner of 44th Avenue East and White Eagle Boulevard, very close to Gullet Elementary School, Mona Jane Middle School, and not too far away from Lakewood Ranch High School. There are shopping plazas and banks just below Indigo at State Road 70, and a new plaza being built right on the corner of White Eagle Boulevard, which we're not sure what it will have yet, but I'm sure it'll be something useful for residents nearby. You're also not far from Lakewood Ranch Boulevard and Main Street. There are a variety of floor plans for single family homes in Indigo with elevations that look Mediterranean, coastal, British West Indies, so you get a lot of variety in here. There are also two paired villa floor plans and a full interior design studio where you can make all of the choices for your Neil home. The amenity center tends to be one of the more active when we visit. Someone's always using the pool or the clubhouse for an event, and the lifestyle director is great at planning things for residents in Indigo. They're completing their final phase of construction right now, so there's still some wonderful opportunities to make Indigo home. Number seven on the list is Lakewood National. This is a bundled golf community built by Lennar with a variety of single family homes and condo options, which they also refer to as coach or veranda homes. The amenities in Lakewood National include pretty much everything. There's a clubhouse, a fitness center, a full service spa, a beautiful pool, a tiki bar right by the pool. There's also 36 holes of golf and a new clubhouse and restaurant being built that's just about complete. And I forgot to mention tennis and pickleball, of course. There's also a lifestyle director and maintenance is included in this gated village. When I say bundled golf, that means that every single home in Lakewood National is required to have a golf membership. So that means the HOA fees are going to reflect that and be a little bit higher. Lakewood National is currently located along the eastern border of Lakewood Ranch on Bourneside off of State Road 70. It's very convenient to get to anything you need for shopping, banking, dining on State Road 70 or a little bit further south on Main Street. And it's currently zoned to Mona Jane, Gullet, and Lakewood Ranch High School. Residents love to use the resort style amenities in Lakewood National and feel like they live on vacation. Lakewood National is one of the larger villages in Lakewood Ranch, but it is also in its final phase of completion. There's a variety of single family homes with one and two story plans and a few different options for condos or coach homes, depending on what you're looking for. As a builder, Lennar does not offer a lot of flexibility in those floor plans, nor do they offer a design studio. So it's a much more streamlined process. You get a few choices and that's what's coming with the home. If you love to golf, Lakewood National might be a great fit for you. Number eight on the list is Lorraine Lakes. This is the newest Lennar village in Lakewood Ranch and it's going to be pretty big. There's a variety of single family homes, townhomes, and villas available. The amenities are still underway, but the planned amenities include just about everything. Community pool, clubhouse, tot lot, sports courts, all of the things you could possibly want without the golf course. This is also a gated and a maintenance included village. The HOA fees in Lorraine Lakes will vary depending on the size and style of home. Currently, the amenities are under construction, so the fees are a little bit lower, but once those are complete, all of the single family homes will be about $330 a month, and then it'll go up a little bit higher for the townhomes, ranging to about $450 a month. The Rain Lakes is positioned on the corner of Rangeland and Eline Road, and it's just north of the Premier Sports Campus, which is a great location 
if you want to get involved in sports there. It's also not far from Mona Jane, Gullet, and Lakewood Ranch High, which are the schools it is currently zoned to. The single family homes come in a variety of sizes with one and two story floor plans. And again, Lennar is an all inclusive builder, so it's not necessarily a design appointment where you choose everything, but you get to know your pricing right away because it's all included in the package. Lennar is referred to as a production builder, so they aren't semi-custom in the sense that you can change things in the floor plan or design your interior, but they can build homes quickly and there's a lot of them. There are also townhome and paired villa floor plans depending on the amount of space that you need. Lorraine Lakes has plenty of building left to do, so if this feels like a good fit for you, there's a lot of opportunity here. Sapphire Point is number nine. This is the newest Pulte community in Lakewood Ranch with just single family homes. The amenities in Sapphire Point are currently under construction and will include a community pool, fitness center, clubhouse, tot lot, sports courts, maintenance is included, and it's also a gated village. HOA fees will range depending on the size of the home from about $260 a month to $290 a month. Sapphire Point is located off State Road 70 and E-Line Road, directly next to the Premier Sports Campus. Pulte offers a variety of one and two story floor plans with a lot of flexibility in how you can use the space. They also have a full design studio where you choose your interior finishes for the home. The exterior elevations are a little more coastal in their feel, so when you drive around you notice that in this village. This is a newer village, so there is plenty of building left to do in Sapphire Point. The amenity center just broke ground, so it's an exciting time to look into this village if it's the right fit for you. Okay, we've reached the halfway point on the list. I know it's a ton of information, so if you need to grab a snack or a glass of water before we keep going, now's a great time. If you're still with me, let's continue. Number 10 is Savannah at Lakewood Ranch. This village originally had two builders, Lennar and Meritage Homes. Currently, only Meritage has lots remaining, and there are only single family homes in Savannah. Amenities in Savannah at Lakewood Ranch include a clubhouse, fitness center, community pool, some sports courts, and a dog park. It's also gated and general lawn maintenance is included. The HOA fees in Savannah are $220 a month for all remaining homes that are left to be built. Savannah at Lakewood Ranch is located just north of where Avalon Woods is being built off of Lorraine Road and borders State Road 64. So it's kind of right at the northern border of Lakewood Ranch. Conveniently located to a lot of different shopping plazas and dining options on State Road 64 and zoned to Gullet, Mona Jane, and Lakewood Ranch High. Homes in Savannah have a wide variety of elevations, sizes, one and two story plans, as well as two and three car garages. So you'll see a lot of variety when you drive around this village. Meritage is building out their last few phases, so there are opportunities to purchase a home in Savannah at Lakewood Ranch still remaining. Number 11 on the list is Solera at Lakewood Ranch. This community is built by Deer Horton and features a wide variety of single family homes. Amenities in Solera include a brand new community pool and clubhouse, as well as a playground. The HOA fees are the lowest in Lakewood Ranch for new construction and range from $112 a month to about $117 per month, depending on the size lot that you choose. Solera is located off of Eline Road and borders Bourneside Boulevard on the east. Solera is conveniently located near the Premier Sports Campus and will be right across the street from the brand new park that they're adding on to that property. It's also zoned to Mona Jane, Gullet, and Lakewood Ranch High. 
Homes in Solera feature a variety of one and two story floor plans. There's not a ton of flexibility with the changing of the plans themselves, but because there's so many to choose from, there's a lot of options for every family. Solera does not offer a design studio, but they have pre-chosen packages for design that you can choose to put in your home depending on the series of home you're building. This village has a long way to go and there are plenty of opportunities to build with Dear Horton in Solera if this is a good fit for you. Number 12 on the list is Star Farms. Star Farms at Lakewood Ranch has just broken ground and isn't even selling yet, but we have some information on it that we did want to share. The confirmed builders so far are D.R. Horton, Lee Weatherington, and Arthur Ruttenberg. And Star Farms will have a variety of single-family homes, paired villas, and townhomes. This will be a unique village because it's going to have separate amenity campuses that are bundled with the type of home that you're looking for. So if you want a townhome, that will have a bundled amenity campus. The paired villas will have a separate one, but everyone will have access to at least a resort style pool and clubhouse, fitness center, a coffee shop, potentially a restaurant later on down the road, and so much more. It will be a gated village and general lawn maintenance is included in the preliminary HOA fees. The preliminary HOA fees are said to be ranging from about $220 a month up to $340 a month depending on the series of home that you purchase and the section that you purchase the home in. It sounds a little bit confusing and we have more information we can send you that breaks it down a little bit more if you're interested. Star Farms is located right in the northeast corner of Lakewood Ranch. It's a very large parcel of land. It is planned to have its own school on site, but currently, until they rezone it, it would be districted to Gullet, Mona Jane, and Lakewood Ranch High. We have a preliminary map that shows some of the home sites, and we did drive through to see that the landscaping is in and looking great. Models are currently under construction, and we're just waiting for information on pricing and home designs. There have been some floor plans released as well, so there will be a variety of options for a home that you're looking to build. If Star Farm sounds like it might be a good fit for you. Number 13 on the list is Sweetwater. This is another brand new village that is set to open soon, as of the recording of this, and it will be built by MI Homes. They will have single family homes and paired villas. From what we've been able to confirm, this will be a gated village, and the villas will have separate amenities from the single family homes. They will both have a resort style pool, some type of clubhouse, and some sports courts. Unfortunately, we don't have any information on HOA fees for Sweetwater just yet. This brand new village is located slightly south of Star Farms, just across 44th Avenue East and bordering Eline Road. As of right now, it's set to be zoned to the same schools, Gullet, Mona Jane, and Lakewood Ranch High, but we're assuming that might change as all these new schools get built. Currently, the models are being completed, the roads are being put in, and landscaping is finishing up, so we should see some action for sales in the next few months in Sweetwater. Based on what we know about MI Homes as a builder, they will have two and three car garage floor plans with a variety of flexible options for one and two story bonus rooms, extra bedrooms, and a lot of flexibility there, as well as a full interior design studio. As Sweetwater continues construction, we'll be sure to update you. When they have homes and home sites released and ready to sell, we will let you know. Next up is number 14, The Isles. This is a Toll Brothers community consisting of single family homes in two different collections. Amenities in the aisles include a resort style pool, clubhouse, lifestyle director, tennis and pickleball courts, and a gated entry as well as maintenance included in the HOA fees. Those fees are going to range from about $300 to $400 a month depending on the series of home that you choose. The Isles is located off of University Parkway along the eastern border of Lakewood Ranch 
This location is convenient to a Publix Plaza right on the corner of University Parkway and Lorraine with all of your daily needs, as well as anything you could possibly need further down the road on University Parkway, off of Main Street, into the University Town Center, and Waterside Place. This village is zoned to Robert Willis Elementary School, Nolan Middle School, and Lakewood Ranch High. The homes have a variety of British West Indies and coastal elevations with a lot of clean lines and a more contemporary feel. There are one and two story plans and hundreds of options to customize your home to make it exactly what you want. They also offer a full design studio for the interior options for your home. The amenity center and state-of-the-art fitness center also follow in that coastal luxury feeling of the community and there is plenty of things for residents to enjoy in the aisles. They are still building homes in their remaining phases, so if this community is interesting to you, there's plenty of opportunity. Number 15 on the map is the Lake Club. The Lake Club is the most custom neighborhood in Lakewood Ranch. Originally, the builders were Arthur Ruttenberg, Lee Weatherington, John Cannon, Anchor Builders, Murray Holmes, and Stock Signature. Currently, the only builder with remaining lots is Stock Signature Homes. Amenities include a brand new clubhouse, tennis and pickleball courts, a restaurant, a beautiful resort style pool, gated entry, a dog park, and a lifestyle director. The HOA fees in the Lake Club range from about $630 a month to around $750 a month, and only one section has maintenance included. The Lake Club is located next to the aisles in between Masters Avenue and University Parkway. It's a really convenient location to anything on the corner of Lorraine and University as well as Waterside Place and it's not far from Main Street and University Town Center Mall. Homes in the Lake Club are zoned to Robert Willis Elementary, Nolan Middle, and Lakewood Ranch High. Known as the jewel of Lakewood Ranch, the Lake Club truly is like nothing else. As you drive through, you'll see beautiful landscaping in the front section, which looks more like a Tuscan vineyard. And the styles of homes change dramatically because everything is custom built. The current section built by Stock Signature Homes is called Genoa, and they are building one and two story plans with a variety of flexibility to those floor plans and fully custom interior design options. The Lake Club is in one of its final phases of construction as well, so if you're interested in being a part of this beautiful village, then you definitely want to make that decision soon and let us know, we would be happy to help. Number 16 on the map includes all of the waterside villages. So we're going to start with Emerald Landing. This is a brand new village set to open sometime in 2022, and it's going to be built by David Weekly Homes. It's planned to consist of townhomes and single family homes. As of now, the confirmed amenities include a community pool, a dog park, and maintenance will be included as well. There's been no official release of information on HOA fees, but we're estimating that they will range between three and $400 a month. Emerald Landing is located in Waterside, right across from the Botanic Apartments and Waterside Park. So a really convenient location to everything that Waterside Place has to offer. Blue Lake Road is currently under construction, so that would be the main access point to Lorraine Road and the southern part of Lakewood Ranch Boulevard also connects near Emerald Landing. Unfortunately, there's not much to show you as it is currently just dirt, but this will have beautiful water views and views of Waterside Place, which is kind of fun. 
So as we get more information, we will make sure we keep you in the loop and update you on what's to come at Emerald Landing. Next up is Lake House Cove. This community was built by Homes by Town, Lee Weatherington, and Arthur Ruttenberg, and it is only single family homes. The amenities in Lake House Cove include a beautiful community pool and hot tub, a lifestyle director, a fitness center, a clubhouse that's right on the lake, as well as a boathouse where you can rent kayaks and paddle boards. There's also a playground, an event lawn, a sunset lawn, and pickleball courts. The HOA fees in Lake House Cove currently range from about $290 a month to around $320 a month. Lake House Cove is located right off of Lorraine Road in a very convenient location to Waterside Place. We've been told that there will eventually be a water taxi that actually takes residents from Lake House Cove right over to the marina in Waterside Place, which will be really cool. This location is in Sarasota County, as is everything in the Waterside portion of Lakewood Ranch. So it's zoned to Tatum Ridge Elementary School, McIntosh Middle, and Booker High School in Sarasota. Lee Weatherington and Arthur Ruttenberg are the more custom builders in this neighborhood, while Homes by Town is semi-custom and allows a lot of flexibility with their floor plans. The homes are much more coastal and contemporary in their feel and their elevations. All of these builders have a design studio where you would choose the full interior design options for your home. The amenity center is designed to feel like you're in a true lake house or a boat house. The lifestyle director plans events. Your fitness center overlooks the pool and the lake. And it's a great village to call home. They're currently working on their next phase of construction, so there will be more availability to build a home in Lake House Cove coming soon. The next new waterside village is called Nautique. This will be built by MI Homes and will consist of townhomes and rear load garage single family homes. Which means, I think, if you're driving down the street, the garage will be on the back side, so the front facade won't have any front facing garages. The amenities in Nautique are planned to include a community pool, a dog park, a tot lot, and pickleball. HOA fees have not been released yet, and we don't even really have a range to go off of, so we will keep you posted on that. Nautique will be located along Blue Lake Road on the other side of Kingfisher Lake from Waterside Place. Great location with access to all of the shopping, dining, and fun that Waterside Place has to offer. It's also in Sarasota County, so it's a little bit closer to Fruitville Road and access to the Gulf Coast beaches. And it's zoned to Sarasota County Schools. As of right now, that would be Tatum Ridge Elementary, McIntosh Middle, and Booker High School. As we get more information from MI Homes on this new community, we will be sure to update you. The next waterside village is Shoreview at Lakewood Ranch. This community was built by Pulte Homes and consists of single family homes. The amenities in Shoreview include a pool and clubhouse, fitness center, tennis and pickleball courts, and maintenance is included on these homes. The HOA fees in Shoreview range from around $320 a month, close to $400 a month currently. Shoreview is located between Lorraine Road and Deer Drive, adjacent to the Polo Grounds and surrounding two of the largest lakes in the Waterside area. The majority of the homes in Shoreview have amazing water views. Again, this is a Sarasota County village, so they are zoned to Sarasota County Schools, Tatum Ridge Elementary, McIntosh Middle, and Booker High School. The style of homes built in Shoreview is a mixture of coastal and typical Florida Mediterranean elevations. Pulte provides a lot of flexibility with the floor plans, 
as well as a full interior design studio to choose your finishes. The Amenity Center is beautiful, located right on one of the lakes, and you are a very short distance to Waterside Place, which gives you options for shopping, dining, and more activities besides what's in your village. Shoreview is getting ready to open their next phase of construction, so if you're interested in this location, there's definitely opportunities coming. The last waterside village listed is called the Alcove. This is a smaller community of single family homes that will be built by Neil Signature. This village is set to open sometime in the year 2022. We don't have a ton of information just yet, but we know that Neil Signature is a relatively custom builder. So it should offer a variety of flexibility with floor plans and a full interior design studio option. The alcove is being built off of Lakewood Ranch Boulevard, just to the west of Waterside Place and Emerald Landing. From the information that's been released, we know that maintenance will be included on these homes. There doesn't appear to be many amenities planned for this village, but the homes will certainly be beautiful. We don't have HOA fees confirmed or any of the floor plans or pricing just yet, but as we get them, we will be sure to keep you updated. Windward at Lakewood Ranch is number 17. This is the newest community built by Neil in Lakewood Ranch. It consists of single family homes and paired villas. Amenities in Windward are set to open soon and include a clubhouse, pool, fitness center, a lifestyle director, sports courts, a playground, and more. Windward is a gated community and maintenance is also included in the HOA fees. And those HOA fees in Windward currently range from just under $200 a month for the villas to just over $300 a month for the larger homes. Windward is located all the way south on that map of Lakewood Ranch, right off of Lorraine Road and just touching Fruitville Road at the bottom. This is the southernmost point of Lakewood Ranch in Sarasota County, so it's really convenient to Fruitville Road to get to the beaches in downtown Sarasota, as well as Waterside Place and University Parkway. This village is currently zoned to Tatum Ridge Elementary, McIntosh Middle, and Booker High School. Homes in Windward focus on a very coastal or British West Indies feel, so the elevations reflect that. They have three series of homes as well as the villas, so truly something for everyone. Neil is a semi-custom builder, so every floor plan has flexibility with options for both structural design and interior design with a full design studio waiting for you. Windward still has a lot of building to do, so if this feels like a great fit, there are a lot of opportunities for you to find the right home in Lakewood Ranch. We've reached number 18 on the list, Woodleaf Hammock. This village was originally built by MI Homes and Meritage and it consisted of single family homes and townhomes. Recently, DR Horton also purchased some of the remaining sites for townhomes, so they are now a remaining builder in this village. So the townhomes are the only remaining new construction in Woodleaf Hammock. The amenities in Woodleaf Hammock include a pool, pickleball courts, a playground, and a dog park. This is also a gated village with most maintenance included. The HOA fees for both sets of townhomes are under $200 a month, which is great. We're jumping all the way back up north on the map for Woodleaf Hammock, which borders State Road 64 and Gatewood Drive. It's also very close to Lakewood Ranch Boulevard, and any of your shopping, dining, banking needs can be found on State Road 64. The Meritage townhomes have two car garages and the DR Horton version only has one car garage, so that's the difference you'll see when you're driving through. 
Woodleaf Hammock is also zoned to Gullet Elementary, Mona Jane Middle, and Lakewood Ranch High. If you're looking for a townhome lifestyle, this location might be perfect for you and there are opportunities left to build in Woodleaf Hammock. Courtney and I have been making videos about Liquid Ranch since 2019. It was a destination then and it's become an even bigger destination now. It is the place to be in Florida. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to learn anything additional about Liquid Ranch. We live here, we love it here, and we'd love to show you why Liquid Ranch is an incredible place to call home. Again, I'm Michael Chankis and for my wife Courtney, we are with Charles Ruttenberg Realty here in Liquid Ranch, Florida. Thanks for watching.